On November 8th, the school district of Onalaska voters will be asked to allow the district to exceed its state imposed revenue limit over the next five years in the following amounts. The amount shown for the 2023-24 school year is in addition to the previously approved $3.35 million 2018 referendum set to expire at the end of the 2023-24 school year. We believe this is necessary to sustain our high quality services while addressing rising expenses related to inflation and uncertain funding support from the state over the past decade. Residents have approved a continuous series of operational referendums for the district since 2006, with the last one taking place in 2018. Wisconsin schools operate under a state imposed revenue limit that restricts the amount of money they can receive. The outdated formula the state uses means the school district of Onalaska does not receive enough revenue to properly fund programs and services for students. The needs of our students have increased significantly, especially in the areas of special education and mental health. Costs for things like running our buses and heating our schools continue to increase, as do other expenses that are out of the district's control. These financial challenges, if left unaddressed, will negatively impact our ability to offer high quality programs and services to our students. They can also prevent us from attracting, hiring, and retaining first class teachers and staff to serve our learners. The Onalaska community last approved an operational referendum for the district in 2018. That referendum was non-recurring and is set to expire at the end of the 2023-24 school year. The Board of Education is now asking voters to approve another five-year non-recurring operational referendum on November 8, 2022. One important aspect of any referendum is the impact on property taxes. Let's take a closer look at school district levy rates and how they affect our property tax bills. What is a school district tax levy rate? The levy rate is set by the school board each year in the fall as part of the annual budget process. The levy rate, sometimes called the mill rate, is usually reported in dollars per $1,000 of equalized fair market property value. One question we often hear regarding property tax bills is what is the difference between fair market value and assessed value? Fair market value is set by the State Department of Revenue every year, while assessed value is calculated by the municipality like the City of Onalaska and the other municipalities encompassing or partially encompassing the school district periodically as needed. The City of Onalaska is currently engaged in a process to reassess property values in the community. This process will affect about 90% of the homeowners in the school district of Onalaska. It's important to note that if all assessments rise at a comparable rate, the reassessment process will not cause property taxes to increase. Additionally, the city's reassessment has no impact on the total school levy. Our 2021-2022 levy rate was $7.90 for each $1,000 of property value. Based on current assumptions, a referendum can be passed without increasing the tax levy from the 2021-22 rate, and 87% of Onalaska community survey respondents indicate that our most urgent financial needs should be addressed now. As a reminder, the district has a capital referendum question on the November ballot as well. If passed, the capital referendum would have an estimated tax impact of $60 a year for every $100,000 of fair market value, as reflected in the chart shown. Thank you for taking time to watch our video. We hope this information helps you cast an informed vote on November 8th. Learn more about the operational and capital referendum questions on the ballot November 8th at www.onalaskareferendum.org.